What does it mean to give your all? To sacrifice everything you have for the sake of the glory? Is blood, sweat, and tears enough? Or does it dig deeper than that? Tonight, many beings will compete for it all. But what will it cost in the end? Their bodies, their energy, or even more? Everyone's threshold has a different price, but in the end, we all sell out. And now, Ring of Clothing and Ringside Collectibles presents MDT Sold Out. What is good everyone? Welcome live to MDT Sold Out. We're packed out here in the MDT Arena for this third ever pay-per-view in our history of our company. I am very excited for tonight. Of course, I have my partner Brad with me as always to come and take the action here tonight. Brad, what do you think? It is here. It is time. I am so pumped up. Let's freaking go, Brad. We got a, we got a packed out here in the arena, like I said, MDT sold out is about to go down. Of course, we do have a stacked up match card here tonight. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our main event, a street fight between Braun Strowman and the champion Kenny Omega for the Elite Championship is our main event for here tonight. And on MDT Live side of things, we have the MDT Championship match between Dolph Ziggler and John Cena. Should be an epic matchup here tonight as Dolph Ziggler won that number one contender tournament. And then, of course, we have our no disqualification match between the Shield brothers, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Who will be banished from the Shield? Who will take home one half of that world tag title? We will find out here tonight at Sold Out. Can't wait! And Brad, not only do we have those three matchups, but we have four other matchups, including AJ Styles versus CM Punk, a Tornado Tag Team match, and a Triple Threat Ladder match for here tonight's action. And we are starting off with a banger. Here we go. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing at 218 pounds, CM Punk. Well, Brad, in this matchup, not only is it a singles contest, but the loser of this matchup between CM Punk and AJ Styles will be traded to vindication. That's right. I mean, who will replace one of these men? Whoever gets traded, it will be a trade. They don't just leave and MDT Live gets nothing in return. Of course, they will get a superstar in return, so that could shake up the landscape of not only MDT Live, but vindication. Your guess is as good as mine. AJ Styles called for this matchup with CM Punk. He went to the general manager, Eric Bischoff. You know, CM Punk kept getting in his way. He cost him his money in the bank opportunity. He cost him his opportunity at the MDT Championship and the number one contendership tournament. So he is ready to get rid of CM Punk. He we got a grudge match right here. He wants CM Punk to go away to vindication, and he doesn't want anything to do with it. He has a chance to send him away here tonight. Let's go.
Well, Brian, here we go in this clash of the Titans. AJ Styles and CM Punk locking up in the middle of the ring here. And I am very excited for this one. Absolutely. There's a quick takedown there by CM Punk as he takes AJ Styles to the mat. Oh, what a nice Ooh. punch to the back there to AJ Styles as CM Punk tries to gain control here early in the matchup. Pulls him back to his feet, and AJ Styles separates. You know, this is going to be part of that feeling out process. They've never crossed paths except for that one time before on MDT Live to try and qualify for the money in the bank, which was squandered when they both got counted out at 10. There we go. We're locking up again here. And AJ Styles showing some force here as he drives him into the corner here, and both men are going to separate. They get separated. AJ Styles ready to focus. Oh, and look at oh. CM Punk blowing the kiss. He's blowing the kiss like he did Mwah. when he cost him that MDT championship opportunity in the tournament versus Jeff Hardy. As both men lock up again here. CM Punk trying to gain advantage. Oh, a strike by CM Punk. Oh, and a nice body slam by CM Punk here. He's coming across the ring. Oh, look at that drop oh. kick. Very nice by CM Punk. You know, Brad, in this matchup, you got to think who, which superstar would fit better over at Vindication. Well, you got Bullet Club over there. You AJ, Bullet Club. And you got CM Punk at Bullet Club as he hits the oh. high knee. He hits the high knee right in the nose of AJ Styles as he's continuing to thrash him here. Vicious. CM Punk has gained control here in this matchup early on as AJ Styles is going to be placed on the ropes. And I think CM Punk's going to look for that sort of rope neck breaker here with his foot. Oh, and he comes oh, up empty here as AJ Styles looks for the quick roll-up. We gotta have a cover. This is it. And a quick, oh. quick power out there by CM Punk as he gets back to his feet. AJ Styles wailing on Punk now. He's gonna use his own offense as he throws him into the ropes, coming back across. And he nails drop the drop kick. kick. He nailed it. Very nice. One of the best drop kicks in the game is AJ Styles. AJ Styles taking him across here to the other side of the ring. Oh, look at our big clothesline. And he Ooh. nails it. He nails it on CM Punk here. Oh, he's looking for that. Big backbreaker, my God! Oh! Ah. You know the damage that CM Punk's back there as he makes the quick cover. Mm. And he powered out here. It's going to take a lot more than that to put away Punk here in this matchup. Absolutely. Oh, and he's firing back CM Punk back on the offense now. Oh, it's that, it's that chest, chest high kick. And he's wailing on AJ Styles here as he's. Oh, AJ Styles is coming back across. Uh -oh. oh, and the big clothesline spills out of the outside of the ring. But CM Punk manages to fall all the way. AJ Styles held on there. Very nice by AJ Styles to have the wherewithal to hang on oh, to the Oh, look ropes. out now. Oh, and he's coming across with a suicide dive. Oh. And he takes out CM Punk. That's, I mean, that's the veteranship of AJ Styles. To know to find the ropes to hang on, on instead of falling outside of the ring here. As he's always oh, he plants him on that scaffolding. AJ Styles gaining control now after the early on dominance of CM Punk. And AJ Styles looking for a big clothesline again. Oh, he nails it. Oh, he's looking for the Bulldog. Oh, Punk reverses oh! it. He rever oh, that's got to sting the back of AJ Styles. Punk with the wherewithal to push him off. Very nice counter there by CM Punk. You're right, Brad. As CM Punk manages to get back to his feet now. Looking to gain back control. Gets AJ Styles back to his feet. Oh, I th oh he's thinking suplex. Oh, no. Suplex on the outside. Oh! oh you know the back. Absolutely. Both, both gentlemen's back have taken so much damage early in the matchup here. And AJ Styles now getting picked up by Punk and thrown back inside the ring. I don't know if he's going to go for the cover or not here. It doesn't look to be so as CM Punk is standing him back up. It's another body slam. And it looks like he's thinking ropes again. Oh, he's looking for the big leg drop. Boom. And he nails it now. I, oh, he's going for the cover now. And a power ah. up by AJ Styles. So, it, again, like it'll take a lot to put away Punk. It's going to take the same amount to put away AJ it's Styles. It's the two best in the world right here. They're going head-to-head -head here. It's a big chest Ooh. slap there by CM Punk. He's coming back for more. Ooh. And another chest slap from CM Punk. Ooh. And another chest slap from CM Punk here before he sends him across the ring with force. Good Lord. I know AJ Styles is feeling the repercussions of that strong Irish whip here as CM Punk goes oh, look the, out. another Ooh. backbreaker. So both men hitting backbreakers early in the matchup here as he goes for the cover. And a power up by AJ Styles. 
So both men trying to figure out what they're going to have to do here to put away both men as CM Punk hits the big backbreaker on Styles after taking one earlier from AJ Styles here. And, oh, I think I think uh, CM Punk is thinking Macho Man style here. Look out now. He's climbing the top rope. He's looking for the elbow drop. Here it comes. Oh, oh he comes up empty. Oh, my God. He comes up empty as AJ Styles rolls out of the way, and he's on the springboard now. Oh, he hits oh. a 450 splash. And he nailed, nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, AJ Styles, what a nice counter. Gets out of the way with the 450. And he ah. it out. So Punk kicks out of the 450 splash after avoiding that massive elbow drop off the top rope from CM Punk. And now I think AJ Styles is thinking phenomenal forearm as he goes out to the Going to put him away. Here comes the phenomenal forearm. But now he's oh, he caught him. He, he's caught by Punk. He's caught by Punk. He loves him up. Oh, oh, GTS. He hit the GTS on, on Styles. Oh, he's right. He's looking for a cover here. We're going to have a winner. It's over. And ah. Styles kicks out. He took a GTS right on the nose, and he managed to kick out there. Very Can't put nice. that man out. He cannot put away AJ Styles here. I see him pump loads. AJ back up. And, oh, now AJ's on the fight. AJ's on the fight. He's looking for a suplex. Oh, and he nailed it. Very nice there. And both men look spent here in this matchup. I'm spent. It seems that the MDT crowd is completely 50-50 here tonight. Half for CM Punk and half for AJ Styles. And it looks like we're going for round two here in this matchup as both men get back to their feet. Here we gonna, go. They're going to square up as a shot landed by CM Punk. But AJ Styles is going to be trading back with CM Punk here as he lands a shot. And both men are literally just teeing off on each other. Trading blows. One by one, just depleting the health of each man with every single punch each man lands. And back with Styles as Punk retaliates. My God, these men literally are breaking each other's Jesus. facial bones. My God. And they're still not Good done, bro. God. They're still teeing off on each other. This is vicious. This uh -oh. Oh, oh, here comes AJ Styles on the offense. Ooh. Oh, a high kick by Punk. Oh, man. And over here oh. by AJ Styles. My God, both of these men going head to head. Which man will fight for the right to stay on MDT Live. AJ Styles wants to get rid of CM Punk. He C will do whatever it takes to get rid of Punk. CM Punk wants AJ Styles gone. That's exactly why they're in this matchup. Brad is Here we CM go. Punk looking for the high knee. He nails it. Oh, and AJ Styles is totally stunned. He's stunned. He's loading him up. He's oh, no. Another GTS can do it. Oh, he, he's got it. Oh, my God. He's got his leg. Oh, he's locked in the calf killer. He's got the calf killer. Oh, my in. God. What a reversal by AJ Styles. AJ Styles has reversed the GTS into the calf killer. This can do it. Punk can be hit in a vindication. Punk can be hit in a vindication. Ah. AJ Styles crushing the leg. He's crushing the calf. Look at the anguish. He is literally tearing the part, the ligaments of the leg of CM Punk as he is just begging for the ropes here. If he could make it to the ropes, he would be fine, Brad. But AJ Styles has got it locked in tight. AJ Styles is literally uh, locked in. CM Punk is in agony. Oh, can he make it? He's crawling. He's reaching. He's crawling. He's, he's he got it. it. He got it. CM Punk finally find the ropes. And now AJ Styles must let go. But now you, you've got to think the leg of CM Punk is the totally damage. Dead. The damage has been done now. Styles looking for that phenomenal forearm here. Here it comes. Oh, he landed. Oh. He nailed it. He nailed it. He's going for the cover. It's right over. And he's oh. out, CM Punk. CM Punk still conscious, not giving up the calf killer and the phenomenal forearm not enough to put away Punk as Styles is completely shocked. He makes it back to his feet, Brad. He, he wants to put him away. How did Punk kick out of How that? How the hell? He's looking for the Styles clash, Brad. He's looking for the Styles clash. He loads him up. Gotta put him away. Oh, but he, he oh, oh CM, no. CM Punk gets out of it. Oh, and a Ooh. high kick right to the skull of AJ Styles. He loads him up. Load him up. Oh, my God, GTS. Oh. oh, he nailed it. He nailed it. AJ Styles is out cold. Here comes the cover from Oh, Bob. my God. And AJ oh. Styles. AJ Styles is headed to vindication.
And CM Punk did it, Brad. He defeated AJ Styles. AJ Styles is headed off to Vindication. Oh, I gotta give him a kiss before he left. He literally gave him a bye kiss, Brad. He's literally been blowing him kisses. And he gave his final one here tonight, the kiss of death. I cannot believe it. The best in the world. As he's, he's wearing his jacket. He literally took AJ Styles' vest and he has left him for dead in the middle of the ring. As CM Punk will stay on MDT Live and AJ Styles will be shipped off to Vindication in a trade later on to be known. As he waves goodbye to AJ Styles, CM Punk disappears into the curtain. What a match. What is good everybody, it is Trey from My Damn Toys telling you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and since, you know, just subscribing doesn't do anything anymore, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you never miss an MDT upload. We got some exciting stuff for MDT Wrestling down the line so you don't want to miss it. Welcome back to MDT Sold Out. Brad, uh, we literally just witnessed an instant classic between AJ Styles and CM Punk, but now... What the hell is Adam Cole doing out here? Brad, Adam Cole isn't scheduled for a match tonight, so I don't know why he would be out here, but he does have a microphone. He has his Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase in hand, so I guess we're going to find out what he has to say here uh, to the MDT Universe that's sold out. Oh, Brad, it looks like he's out here to finally induct The Miz into the Bullet Club. That Bullet Club initiation tour actually did wonders for The Miz. However, it looks like he's got a big-ass obstacle to go through first. You're right, Brad. He's got Kevin Owens. Making his way to the ring from Quebec, Canada, weighing 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! So a revolutionary championship match is up next, ladies and gentlemen, as Kevin Owens makes his way to the ring. Adam Cole will be ringside, apparently, to induct a new member to Bullet Club. You know, Miz has been, you know, trying to get in the Bullet Club in that Bullet Club initiation tour over the past few weeks of vindication. And I guess they're going to induct him here tonight if he can pick up the win over Kevin Owens. Big question going into this matchup. Is the Hurricane and El Generico going to get involved in this matchup? El Generico's been in Kevin Owens' corner this entire feud, and the Hurricane has been on the Miz's side. You, know, you have to think so, because it's been going on for weeks now. I mean, that is the case, and you know, the Hurricane is supposed to help the Miz get into the Bullet Club. So if Adam Cole's sitting here at ringside, the Hurricane cannot be far behind the Miz. Absolutely. Revolutionary Championship on the line here is The Miz has been doing wonders on this Bullet Club initiation tour. Bullet He's Club membership on the line. Literally, it could be, Brad, as the Revolutionary Championship will be beside Adam Cole. And he has been defending this title all over the place here. And I think this is going to be his toughest matchup yet here as Kevin Owens and The Miz lock up in the middle of the ring. Kevin Owens is not going to back down from The Miz, that's for sure. Absolutely not. As he locks in the headlock here on The Miz and takes him down, you know the strength of Kevin Owens is definitely going to be an advantage for him here in the matchup versus the weaker Miz. And Kevin Owens now backing Miz into the corner here. Miz coming back across. Oh, and the agility, oh. the agility of the Miz to get out of that pop-up powerbomb as he lays waste to Kevin Owens in the middle of the ring with a couple strikes. Kevin Owens back on the ropes now as the Miz looking for uppercuts Ooh. here. My God, a couple uppercuts. A third uppercut. Jesus. As he's got Kevin Days there. Oh, and oh, he's paying attention to Adam Cole here. He's, oh, he's Showing he, up. You know he's got to show up, Brad. He's the Miz. But he better look out as Kevin Owens is setting up shot behind him here. 
Look oh, out. Out. oh, oh. What a big super kick to the Miz as Miz falls faintly out of the ring. Good lord. And he lays waste out here beside us. And that's why you don't you don't show off, Brad. What do you think about that, Adam? I, I don't think that's going to impress Adam Cole too much as the Miz finally makes it back to his feet here. But Kevin giving chase here as he chases down the Miz to the outside. And Kevin's not done as he plants Miz's face Ooh. right off the table here in front of us. My goodness. And Kevin showing off the strength there as he's taking Miz. And I think he's going to put him back inside the ring. And the Miz totally not on offense here as Kevin is totally dominating the early part of this matchup here. And a shot from Kevin Ooh. Owens. And I think he's going body slam here. And he nails it. And he's not done with Miz. Here's he comes across. Look at that senton. Look out. Oh, all the weight from Kevin Owens coming down hard on the Miz. He looks for the cover. And a kick out by Miz. You know, that Bullet Club initiation tour was definitely not for nothing, Brad. He, he wants this thing. He wants that T-shirt. A knee strike from Kevin Owens. And another knee strike from Kevin Owens. Jesus. Just giving him those knee strikes. Miz really wants to be in the Bullet Club, Brad. He's really, he's done outstanding on Vindication the past few weeks. Uh, overcoming so many different competitors. But like we've said, he's going to have to give us more here tonight. Because Kevin Owens is definitely the biggest threat to his Revolutionary Championship. His toughest competitor yet. And the biggest threat to his Bullet Club initiation. And he slips out of the grasp there. As Miz slides to the outside for a rest. Take a breather. Kevin Owens says, screw that, Brad. I'm coming after you. As Kevin Owens slides out of the ring, he's coming around after the Miz. Oh, looking for the clothesline okay. here. Oh, Miz ducks out of the way. A kick to the midsection. Ooh. Oh, Miz looking for that. Oh, he's looking for that DDT. Oh, oh on the outside. Oh, my goodness. I think Kevin Owens could be out unconscious here. That may be what the Gotta Miz get him needed. In. That may be what he needed, Brad. He slides Kevin Owens back inside the ring looking for the cover here. And Kevin oh. Owens stays alive. Too Kevin, late. He stayed alive there, and I think you're right, Brad. I think if he would have been in the ring on that DDT, he might have had him. But then again, the damage probably wouldn't have been the same as the outside to the skull of Kevin Owens as Kevin Owens is rolling out to the outside now and Miz coming across look at the Miz look at that drop kick and he nails it as it sends Kevin Owens off the apron and Kevin Owens fell hard off that apron Brad my goodness and Miz is giving chase now and now Miz is dominating the matchup as he plants <clears throat> Kevin right off of that scaffolding Cole on the edge front of the row ring seat. yeah Cole definitely has a front row seat as he throws Kevin back inside the ring and uh, the Miz, again, paying attention to Adam Cole here, showing off a little bit, you know, trying to flex a little bit, trying to get into that Bullet Club as he comes across the ring here for Kevin. Kevin dodges out of the way. Oh, and he's giving the Miz a few strikes here. Kevin back on the offense here. Oh, as Kevin shows off the strength, he scoops up the Good Miz. Lord. Oh, my God, the neck breaker. Killed him. Literally, Miz is out cold here. Oh, my God. It's the, the hurricane. Damn hurricane. It's the damn hurricane. He's got that damn chair, Brad. And Kevin Owens is saying, nah, uh, you're not ruining my revolutionary championship match. And Hurricane talking some trash now. And Kevin Owens is definitely not having that. Oh, here comes El Generico. Yes. El Generico with the clothesline to hit the, the hurricane. My hero. He's taking out the hurricane. He's not going to let him thwart Kevin Owens' efforts. But Kevin Owens isn't paying attention to the Miz. He's not looking at the Miz. Oh, the low no, blow. No, no. He low blown Kevin Owens. He looks for the cover. We can have a retain. Oh, and El Generico. Oh. El Generico saves Kevin Owens again here. Oh, my goodness. And the referee getting on to El Generico. Jesus. And the Miz not having none of it. He wants, he wants El Generico thrown out of this matchup. Trying to argue with El Generico and the referee. Oh Look my out, Kevin! Oh, Kevin! The Hurricane! Oh, oh, and a chair shot to the back of the skull of Kevin Owens as the Hurricane gets out of there. And now the Miz scooping up. He's scooping up Kevin's Skull Crusher Finale. Oh, my God. Oh, he nailed it. He nailed the Skull Crusher Finale. Here he goes for the cover. And the, oh, the Hurricane's on the run. And El Generico's going to give chase to him. Oh, they're both, they're both on the run, Brad, but the Miz has the cover. The Miz has a cover on Kevin. And that Whoa! does it. The Miz defeats Kevin Owens. Oh my God. Is the Miz, has, is, is he in the Bullet Club now? The Miz 
defeats Kevin Owens and retains his Revolutionary Championship as the winning record continues for The Miz as he celebrates over the corpse of Kevin Owens, the help of the Hurricane. The Hurricane comes and saves the day now. And Adam, he's, got, he's got the t-shirt, Brad. Oh my God. Adam Cole has the t-shirt in hand. And it looks like he's going to make his way into the ring here as Miz. It's what he's always wanted. It is definitely what he's always wanted, Brad. He's got the Bullet Club t-shirt. Adam Cole celebrating with the Miz after this great win. Hollywood Club. Oh my God, Brad, the lights, the lights are out in here. The lights are out in the What's MDT arena. I, don't, I can't see anything. Who the I, hell is that? Oh my God, is that, that's Marty Skull. It's Marty Skull. It's the villain. Oh my God. The villain's here as he cracks Miz across Jesus. the face. He strikes him with the umbrella. And he's not done, Brad. He's, oh my God. He's laying into the Miz. He's laying into the Miz with that umbrella. Oh my God, Marty Skrull's here. Adam Cole wasn't kidding. He was not kidding. A new member of the Bullet Club is here, and it's not the Miz, but the villain. Marty Skrull. The villain is here on vindication. He shows up at MDT sold out as the Miz is in execution position. And I think that Marty's oh going to take him out with the umbrella. My goodness. An umbrella strike to the skull. Welcome to vindication and Bullet Club. Villain. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here, and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up to go over to our Instagram page at My Damn Toys and give us a follow. We post really cool WWE figure images. We post, you know, all about our new videos and such, as well as updates on the pick fed. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to MDT Sold Out. So we've had two amazing matchups so far tonight, but we are just getting started as it is time for our MDT Championship match. Here comes Dolph Ziggler, the winner of the number one contendership tournament for the MDT Championship. He overcame Chris Jericho and Jeff Hardy to get to this point, and he is ready to make his presence known here, Brad. He's got an intense matchup with John Cena here tonight. He's definitely got his work cut out for him. He does, but I think he's ready. He's ready to prove himself here, and I think that uh, he, he's ready to showcase his talents. the crowd already letting him have it. Making his way to the ring from West Virginia, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, he is the MDT champion, John Cena! The champ is here, Brad John Cena, in his second pay-per-view matchup. He's 1-0 in his career as he defeated Edge last time at Money in the Bank to claim his MDT championship. And he's back here tonight at Sold Out to prove himself once again versus the challenger Dolph Ziggler. I have to agree with Dolph Ziggler's trunks. I've seen enough. And there are the trunks that Brad is referring to as they say, seen enough. And we are here at ringside to call this matchup. Brad, I'm very excited. Dolph Ziggler and John Cena head-to-head -head for the MDT Championship. This is definitely the first time these guys have locked up in this company's history, and I'm excited for it. Absolutely. Let's go. MDT Championship on the line as both men make their circles, and we're ready to go. As both men lock up here. And the strength of Cena straight Jesus. ahead, just throwing Ziggler right off. You know the strength of Cena will be on showcase here tonight. Absolutely. Dolph Ziggler definitely outnumbered as far as strength goes. And Cena throws him back off again. Yeah. And I think Dolph Ziggler is going to learn that he's going to have to take a different approach here. He's not going to win a strength battle with John Cena. No. As they tie up here again, but Do uh, Dolph Ziggler going straight for the legs here. As he learned, as he, takes, he takes Cena down, and he's working on the head here. He's locked in the headlock. You know, Ziggler, All-American at Kent State where he's in the Hall of Fame as, the, as one of their top wrestlers in the history of the school. As John Cena throws him into the ropes, he's coming back across. Oh, the athleticism of Cena here as he jumps wow. over Ziggler. Ziggler between the legs here, pops up on his feet and lands a drop, drop kick. kick. As he takes Cena down, and he's going for the cover. 
And a kick out immediately. Doesn't Jeez. even doesn't even get a one count here. And he's looking for that dropping elbow as he nails it. And I don't think he's done, Brad. I think we've got a while here as Ziggler likes to do this to many opponents as he drops multiple and multiple elbows. Working raining. that abdomen. He is literally raining down shots on John Cena as we speak as this is literally a good tactic. You know, he's got John Cena on the ground. Why not keep working on the abdomen area as he Absolutely. keeps on dropping the elbows. It's Ziggler going for the cover now after multiple elbow shots. And it does no good. Good God. He kicks immediately out. He, he's literally got his work cut out for him, Brad. He's going to have to work hard here tonight as he sends Cena into the corner. And I think he's thinking Stinger Splash. Here it comes. Oh, he comes out oh. empty as his face smashes off the turnbuckle. Cena loading him up for the AA oh, here. Shit. Loading him up for the AA. Uh, Ziggler trying to fight out as he gets his hands on the ropes. As he unloads him onto the apron here is Cena. Oh, and he hits a big clothesline Ooh. and takes out Ziggler to the apron as he rolls to the outside. My goodness, what a shot from John Cena. And Cena not going to let him go anywhere here as he throws him right back inside the ring. I think Ziggler's a little stunned from his face bouncing off that top turnbuckle, Brad, as he's trying to get back on his feet. He did dodge that AA, though. As both men lock up here again, going back and forth. Cena with the strength. Trying to showcase to Ziggler here as Ziggler tries to put him in another headlock. Cena backing him up into the ropes. Coming back across now. And a kick Ooh. from Ziggler sends him straight up. Oh, he's looking for that big DDT. He's loading him up. Oh, oh the, my God. The strength of Cena. He catches him straight up in the air and he's coming down. Jesus. The strength of Cena showcase there as he goes for the cover. And a kick out from Ziggler. Woo. Not going to put Ziggler away that easy, Brad. He's going to have to fight here. As Cena puts him into the corner and he's going back across. Cena looking for his own clothesline now as he lands it. And Ziggler a bit stunned here as he's bringing him back in. Oh, he's loading him back up. Oh, no. Looking for an AA. Looking for an AA. But Dolph Ziggler trying to fight he's out fighting. here. He's fighting. Oh, an elbow shot. And he dumps him back out onto the apron. A Ooh. shot from Ziggler there. Oh, and I think Ziggler's on the springboard. Oh, and Cena. Uh -oh. oh, he... Oh, he rolls oh through. Oh, my God. He rolls through, Brad. He rolled through, and Cena's got him up on his shoulders. Oh, my God. The strength of Cena. The strength of Cena. Oh, my Jesus. God. Jesus. He hits an AA. He landed the AA. Oh, but the, the in-ring awareness yes. of the veteran. The veteran Dolph Ziggler, the in-ring awareness to roll out of the ring. Genius. Did not allow Cena to make the cover immediately to get some well-needed rest here. As Cena goes right back out there to get him. Slides him back inside the ring, and he, I think he's, yeah, he's definitely going for it. He's going for the cover here anyway. And he powers out. So Ziggler, had he not rolled out of the ring, Brad, we could be looking at a win already for Cena. I know it. And Cena now back on his feet, and I think he's thinking five-knuckle shuffle. He is, Brad. He's looking for the five-knuckle shuffle. You can't see me. Please. Cena oh, goes shit. across. Oh, Ziggler stands up. Oh. He nails the drop kick on Cena, and he goes for a quick cover. And he powers ah. out. John Cena powered he got out there. Two. Yeah, he did get it up to two, but it's going to take a lot more than a drop kick here to put Cena away. And Ziggler here looking for the Famouser, I think. Ooh. Oh, he comes up empty as Cena loads him up and Ooh. drops him. And now he says, you don't go anywhere, boy. I'm hitting my five-knuckle shuffle. You can't see me from John Cena again as he comes back across. Here it comes. And he lands the five-knuckle shuffle this time. See, Ziggler back on his feet now. He loads him up. Looking for that AA. Come on. Ziggler struggling. Ziggler fighting here. Oh, he, he, he goes. What is this? Oh, I think he's trying to reverse it into a cover here. He gets him in a cover. Here, we got to have a new champion. Oh, and he ah. kicks out. So Ziggler reverses the. Oh, but he's. Oh, he took the oh foot. My God. He reversed it. And no. now he, oh, he's got him in the STF. He's got him in the STF. Ziggler. Oh my God. Ziggler fighting here, clinging. He's got a fight here. He's, Come on, Dolph. He's, he's got a fight here. The referee checking to see if Ziggler is going to tap out. Ziggler had him in the roll-up, but then Cena kicked out. When he kicked out, he grabbed Hang the on, foot. Hang on, Dolph. He, he grabbed the foot and put him in the STF. Very nice reversal by Cena here as Ziggler is clinging. He's fighting for the ropes. Can he get it? He got yeah. it. He got it, and now Cena must let go here. Ziggler, the damage done to the lower back. As Ziggler finds his way to the ropes and S Cena is stalking. He's stalking, waiting on Ziggler. He's waiting on Ziggler. He loads oh, him up. Man. Looking for an AA. Ziggler's still fighting. He's still fighting. Come him. on. Oh, he hits him in the face. Oh, he's battling. He's battling Cena. There you go. Oh, he fights out of it here. Oh, and a oh! 
super kick out of nowhere. He super kicked him out of nowhere looking for the cover. We're going to have a new champion. And ah. Cena kicks out at two. The super kick not enough to put Cena away here. Damn and it. Ziggler thought he had it. He rolls out of the ring. I thought he might have had a chance there. I thought we had a new champion for a split second. I did too. And Cena's coming right at him. Coming right back at him here. A few shots to the face of Ziggler as John Cena loading him back up again here. My God. Oh, what is he thinking? Oh, AA on the apron. Oh. oh, my God. You know that's the hardest part of the ring. The hardest part of the ring, and I think Ziggler's out cold. Oh, the damage to the back. He's going for the cover. It's over. And he powers oh. out. Ziggler kicks out at two. Yeah. He manages to stay alive from the AA onto the apron. And John Cena says, what do I have to do? He's taking him to the top rope here. John Cena looking. Oh, I think he's oh thinking Super God. AA. He's got Ziggler up on his shoulders. Oh, oh, he nails it. He nails the Super AA. Dolph Ziggler has literally taken two AAs in a row here. He goes for the cover. It's over. And he stays oh alive. God. Dolph Ziggler clinging to life after the Super AA and the AA on the apron. Hell yeah. Dolph Ziggler still fighting. And Cena completely shocked as we are, Brad. I think he's thinking one more AA will put him away as he's waiting on Ziggler to get back to his feet. The wherewithal and the strength of Ziggler to keep on fighting John the Cena. Resilience. He loads him back up. Ziggler fights out. Oh, he's uh -oh. got him in the headlock now. Ziggler locks in the headlock on John Cena as he's got it locked in tight. Cena fading now. Cena fading Ziggler. This is what he needs. Yes. This is what Ziggler needs here. Cena's trying to... Oh, my God, the strength of Cena to pull Ziggler back onto oh his shoulders. Oh, my God, no. Oh, he's fighting. He's still fighting. They're both going back and forth. Elbow shots to the skull of Cena. Jesus. Oh, he fights out. He gets out of it. Oh, super, super kick. kick. Super kick from Ziggler. He ricochets the zigzag. Zigzag. He hits the zigzag, Brad. He hits the zigzag. Come on. He goes for the cover. And he gets no. out John Cena. Stays alive after the super kick zigzag no. combination. Not enough to put away Cena. You could drop that man out of a helicopter and he'd still kick it too. Ziggler waiting in the corner. He wants to put Cena away. Which man can put the other away first? Come Ziggler on. baiting John Cena. Waiting on Cena to get back on his feet. Tune up the band. He is tuning up the band. Paying homage to HBK here with this super kick. He's, he's waiting on Cena. Here it comes. Oh, he ducks the leg. Oh, God. Oh, oh, he's looking for the STF. He's looking for the STF here, Brad. He's trying to lock it in. But Ziggler oh. rolls through. Z Ziggler rolls oh, through my here. God. Oh, he's, oh, he loads it back up. He's got him in the AA. Oh, he Jesus. lands the AA. Oh, Cena rolling through. Oh, my God. He's not done with him, Brad. A second AA as Cena goes for the cover. And John oh, Cena. God. John Cena. Ruins the freaking fantasy day of Dolph Ziggler. What an effort by Dolph Ziggler. He gave it everything that he could. He, My did, God. he did everything in his power, Brad. John Cena overcomes Dolph Ziggler. The resilient Dolph Ziggler didn't have enough in the tank. As he fought as hard as he could. And John Cena, bless his heart, standing over Ziggler now and reaching out the hand as a show of respect to the resilience of Ziggler as he makes it back to his feet here. I know John Cena has mad respect for a competitor to take him to the limit like that right there. As John Cena retains the MDT Championship. What is good, everybody? It is straight from my damn toys. Telling you to head over to ringsidecollectibles.com. Tons of great WWE figures up for pre-order and in stock right now. Elite 64, Elite 63, Epic Moments packs, entrance grades, all kinds of stuff. Go over there. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Welcome back to MDT Sold Out. And we are ready for our fourth matchup. A triple threat ladder match. 
for the Ironman Championship as Drew McIntyre is set to defend his championship against Cody Rhodes and Rusev Brad. I can't see shit over this ladder bridge. I, I tell you, I cannot see very well either, but we're going to call this match up to the best of our abilities here as we are ready to go here tonight for this epic clash of three gentlemen. Rusev Day Brad as Rusev makes his way to the ring here in this matchup. He defeated Baron Corbin, Trash, and Samoa Joe to earn his way to fight Drew McIntyre. But then Cody Rhodes came back into the mix after we thought he was injured, leading to this triple threat ladder match here tonight. Cody Rhodes took that massive ladder bump from Braun Strowman on episode number eight of Vindication. I thought we weren't going to see Cody Rhodes again, Brad. He fell forever, but it turns out he wasn't injured. He was totally selling that to attack Drew McIntyre from behind, and he earned his way into this matchup. He was number one contender before the injury, and uh, he's going to have his shot here tonight. Drew McIntyre, of course, the Iron Man champion, defeated Braun Strowman a while back to the thanks of Kane. Kane helped Drew McIntyre out of nowhere and helped him defeat Braun Strowman to become the Iron Man champion. So Drew McIntyre, I think he's defended the championship twice after that, and he's here to do it once again here tonight versus Cody Rhodes and Rusev as he enters the ring, and we're going to have to hoist the championship high above the ring. The championship is hung, Brad, and you know there's only one more thing to do. Ring the bell and get this action started in this triple threat ladder match between Cody Rhodes, Rusev, and Drew McIntyre. Hell yeah. And Let's the, go. The bell has rang and we are underway here in this matchup as Rusev looks like he's going to get out immediately and go for a ladder, leaving Cody Rhodes and Drew McIntyre stranded in the middle of the ring. But Drew McIntyre looks like he's got some plays as he runs oh, across crap. the ring. Oh, my God. Good Lord. He does the sunset flip over the top rope and takes out Rusev with that ladder. But he's going to pay a price, Brad. He, he landed hard on his back on that ladder. And Cody Rhodes is using this opportunity. He... We could have a new champion go, already. Cody, go, He's got the ladder. He's putting it back in the ring. We could have an Iron Man champion right now. Cody Rhodes getting the ladder inside the ring. He's going to have to take time to set it up, that massive ladder there. As Cody makes a climb. He's, he's got it. Oh, no. And Drew McIntyre comes in, punches Cody in the face, and I don't think he's done with him, Brad. He's going to slam his face right Ooh. into that ladder. You could hear the crack. You could literally hear the crack, and oh my god, he's not done again. Oh, he flips him straight oh out of god. the ring. Oh my god. Good lord. He fell forever. And Cody Rhodes falls a long ways down after that suplex out of the ring by Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre's going to adjust the ladder and take a climb himself. But Rusev Day shows up, and he's going to thwart his efforts. As both men on top of the ladder now. And oh, Cody Rhodes recovers already as he hits no the springboard. Springboard, he drop kicks the ladder here, and I think both men are coming down. Look out! Oh, and oh. They, they both take nut shots onto the ropes. No more children. Very nice by Cody Rhodes there to drop kick the ladder as both men were high above the ring. And now he has his own opportunity now. He's going to have to set the ladder back up and make his own climb. But this match is going 100 miles an hour here. It's Cody Rhodes trying to make the climb, but Drew McIntyre is not far behind here. Oh, I think he's uh -oh. oh, I think he's loading him up. He's got him. He's got him loaded up for a power bomb. Look out! Oh, he springboards him off the top rope. Oh, Jesus. what a what a power bomb there by Drew McIntyre. Power. Using the leverage there off the ropes. Oh, and Rusev comes from behind on oh. Drew McIntyre. You can't turn your back on anybody in this matchup. 
Oh, and a stomp to the back. I think Rusev's looking for the accolade. Oh, Drew McIntyre should have turned his back on Rusev. Oh, man. Oh, he's got it locked in. Got Brad. it. But there's no taps in this match. There's no submissions. The accolade, he can literally sit in this all day. He does not have to give it up. Even if Drew were to make it to the ropes, it wouldn't do any good. But his arms are literally tucked behind the thick legs of Rusev. He can't reach the ropes anyways. Rusev just driving home the Wrenching accolade. the muscles. The back of Drew McIntyre just getting torn apart by this accolade of Rusev. And Rusev's finally done there. And add insult to injuries. He stands over him. My goodness. And I think Rusev. Go, Rusev. Go. Rusev go for the Iron Man Championship. He's high above the ring. Cody Rhodes interrupting now. Making his own climb. Both men going to tie up here. Rusev taking a shot from Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes repeatedly beating Rusev in the face now. Oh, I think, is Cody looking for a suplex off the ladder? Look oh, out. my God. Rusev battling back. Fighting back. Not allowing the suplex to happen. Oh, Rusev headbutt. Oh, my God. Ooh. And he delivers it, and he falls all the way off the ladder. Oh, what a fall from Cody as Rusev now has an opportunity. But Drew McIntyre thwarts it. He yanks him straight off the ladder here. And I think, oh, Drew. Drew looking for a suplex onto that ladder. Oh, oh and he lands it. The heavy weight of Rusev coming down hard on that ladder. And Drew McIntyre, I think, trying to take care of everybody. Brad, he gives a huge clothesline to Cody Rhodes, and both men spill out to the outside. Landing on the ladder, I might add, is Cody Rhodes. As Rusev recovers. He's all alone. He is all alone, but I don't think... Oh, oh both men trying to get back to their feet. I think Rusev notices that. And he's got plans for him as both men on the outside. Rusev scooping up that ladder. Oh, I think he's he's got plans oh, for heads him. Heads up! Oh, he's throwing it! Oh, he crushes them both with that ladder. Rusev with a nice innovative offense here. And he better take a climb while he's got the chance. Go, Ruru, go! He adjusts the ladder for a moment, but I Cody Rhodes already getting back up on his feet, I can see. Oh, Rusev reaching, but he doesn't have the time. He notices Cody there on the apron. Cody Rhodes! Looking for the springboard. He, he transitions to the ladder. A shot from Cody Rhodes. Another shot from Cody. A third shot from Cody Rhodes. Oh, and Drew McIntyre's back again. He yanks Rusev off the ladder. Oh, and he plants the face of Rusev onto the ladder. And Drew McIntyre's making eye contact with Cody Rhodes now. Pause. There's a sudden pause in the action. It's Drew McIntyre selling Cody Rhodes to come down off the ladder. And it looks like Cody's going to listen. I, I honestly do not know what's going on. Uh, both men conversing here. I, we don't have microphones. I, I don't know what these men are saying. It's, it has something to do with Rusev here as both men are talking it over. And I guess Drew McIntyre now scooping up Rusev. I don't know exactly what their plans are. And both men look like they're going to oh double God, team Rusev. They're loading him up, Brad. They're loading up Rusev. They're taking out the third man. I think they're taking out the third man. He's going to be taking a spill. Oh, my oh! God. He's going to the outside Jesus. through the ladder. Through the ladder. Oh, God. He broke that ladder straight in half. Why were the ladders even set up that way to begin with? At least I could see now. And now that Drew McIntyre took out Rusev with Cody, he's turned his back on Cody Rhodes. Oh, and Cody stops it. He's reversing now. Ooh. Now he's on the offense. Cody Rhodes on the offense, battling with Drew. Punches to the face. Taking him into the corner now. And a chest slap Ooh. from Cody. Loading him back up, going for another chest slap. Ooh. And another one. And he's not done with it, Brady. He lands a third no. one. Straight to the chest of Drew McIntyre. And it looks like, oh my God, he's going for a fourth one. Jeez. And he nails his another one. And Cody Rhodes loading up Drew now on the on the turnbuckle. And Cody Rhodes standing back here. Oh, my God. I think he's... Oh, he's looking for that springboard. Enziguri. Straight in the face. And it makes Drew McIntyre... Tumbles. He tumbles all the way outside. Brad, you're right. What a fall from McIntyre after the beautiful Enziguri from Cody Rhodes now. And Cody Rhodes is going to make his climb. Reaching. Stumbling up the ladder. Doing his best to make his way. He can't reach it, Brad. It's going to take another step. That's He's it. right there. He's got it. Oh, he, oh Drew oh recovers. God. Drew recovers. He's still here. He's still fighting both men going back and forth here. That's a shot from Drew. Still going for the championship. But Cody Rhodes not allowing it to happen. Both men just trading shots on top of the ladder after they're attempting to get the championship. Both of these men are not allowing the other to happen.
to make a grab as they continue to trade shots after shot after shot at the top of the ladder this is very dangerous as both men dangle, dangle above the oh they're both they both have the championship oh my God, who, they, they both have, they both grab the title who's the winner i don't know i they're fighting over the championship right but the ladder the ladder's coming down oh my god oh they both fall what happened? the champion the championship oh my god the championship landed in rusev's hands that's it rusev's champion rusev is your new iron man champion what are the odds? He must have recovered from the damage of the ladder bridge and crawled to the center of the ring. And the championship just lands directly in his hands. What a happy Rusev day as he escapes with the Iron Man Championship. What is good, everybody? It is straight from my damn toys. Telling you guys to go over to Instagram and give SM underscore battle underscore stories a big follow. He gave me a new great intro for my channel as well as my my damn halls intro he is a very talented stop motion artist and he definitely deserves a follow he also has a youtube channel called battle stories look him up give him a subscribe and give him a follow ladies and gentlemen welcome back to mdt sold out as we are set for our grudge match no disqualifications between dean ambrose and seth rollins <laughs> And there he is, Brad Dean Ambrose, competing here for one half of the World Tag Team Championships, and he is ready for this notification. Looks he, like he stopped over at Raven's Buggies. He did stop over at Raven's Buggies. He's got a buggy full of goodies. All sorts of weapons are filled up. And he is ready to use them on his former brother, Seth Rollins. And we're going to see which man will stay in the shield and which one will be banished forever. Here comes one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Seth freaking Rollins. As he makes his entrance here, Brad, he is ready to show Dean Ambrose what it's like to be a member of the Shield, a worthy member of the Shield. Dean Ambrose kept losing those matches. Seth Rollins kept giving him opportunity after opportunity to earn his stripes, and he could not do it, and Seth Rollins is ready to show him here tonight how to wrestle. As, oh my oh, god, there we go. Dean Ambrose, he scoops up Seth. He oh. scoops up Seth, and we're underway in this matchup. We're ready to go. As Dean Ambrose is teeing off Kick on Rollins. Kick his ass. He's literally teeing off on Rollins. Shot after shot immediately, Brad. Not even giving him an opportunity to take his gear off. Seth still has the title strapped around his waist as Dean Ambrose goes to the outside and immediately grabs a kendo stick. My goodness, he, he wasted no time here as he lays shots into Seth. Oh. A shot to the shoulder. Another shot Jesus. to the back, my goodness. Probably should have kept that vest on. He's going right at Seth. Another shot to the back. You know it's got a sting, Brad. Ooh. Another shot from Dean Ambrose as he goes for the quick cover. And Seth powers out. Going to take a lot more than a kendo stick, apparently, to put down Rollins here tonight. As Dean's not through with Seth, Brad, he's going right at him again. 100 miles an hour, throwing Seth out of the ring. Dean coming right at him. Oh, and a nice Ooh. mid. Oh, he kicks him in the chest there. Seth Rollins trying to battle back here against Dean Ambrose as he punches him in the face. Whoa, look out now. Oh, he launches him onto the announce table. And Seth Rollins going to use this time to find his own weaponry as he goes underneath the ring. Oh, he finds a chair now. It seems Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose are both out for blood here tonight. As Absolutely. Seth, Seth going for the chair shot. Oh, oh, Dean with a midsection kick. And a nice chest slap from De uh, Dean Ambrose makes Seth drop it now. Oh, my God. Is he looking for the suplex? Now onto the announce table. Watch out, guys. Oh, my God. He did it Sunil Singh style as he flips Rollins onto the Spanish announce table. 
Our Spence announced team already getting the thick of it here as both men have already collapsed on top of their table. And speaking of tables, Dean Ambrose grabs his own as he slides it in the middle of the ring. I guess getting, making some future investments now as Dean Ambrose sets up his own table in the middle of the ring while Seth Rollins lay waste on the Spanish announce table. And what could be going through the mind of the lunatic here? Violence. Dean goes back to the outside. Seth Rollins with a kick to the face. Oh, he's look. Oh, he jumps off the Spanish announce table. Blockbuster. Jesus. A blockbuster off the Spanish announce table. Both men's backs laying down on the outside of the ring. As Seth Rollins gets back to his feet now. Getting Dean back up. Throws him back into the apron. And a super oh, kick oh. square to the jaw. I think Dean Ambrose may be unconscious, Brad. As he rolls him back inside the ring, he may well, be looking for the team. cover. And Dean Ambrose powers out at two. And Seth Rollins going to have to get creative here in this matchup. And it looks like he's going to be taking the long way around here as he exits the ring and he's going all the way around. It looks like he's going to Dean's shopping cart. Digging around. Oh, he's got the sledgehammer. Seth Rollins has a sledgehammer Good in hand. Lord. Oh, but Dean Ambrose is right behind him. Oh, and a shot to the skull. My God, he's got to be concussed. And Seth Rollins now dazed on his knees. And Dean Ambrose. Oh, my God. Oh, not another one. Do not do this, Dean. Don't hit him again. Dean Ambrose again. Oh, oh my God. A violent chair shot. Jesus. A violent chair shot from the lunatic Dean Ambrose to the skull of Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins is a bloody mess. He's, he's busted open here in this matchup early on. And Dean Ambrose rolling the, the corpse of Seth Rollins back inside the ring. Looking for the cover. We can have a win. And he oh kicks out. God. I don't know how Seth Rollins is conscious. He has to have a concussion. Why would you want to be conscious? He slammed that chair so hard into his skull. And he's continuing to fight. Still laying into Seth. A punch to the face. Oh, just adding oh. insult as he bounces his skull off that table. Dean Ambrose just taking it straight to Seth here. Oh, he's oh he's tying him up in the ropes. A chest slap there. Seth Rollins is literally helpless God. as he continues to assault Seth inside the ring. Multiple chest slaps here. Multiple punches to the forehead. He's going to get blood all over his hands. As Seth is, is literally sickening. he's just helpless inside those ropes after that chair shot. Disgusting. Oh, and he's not done, Brad. He's coming back across. Look at that shotgun drop kick. And Ooh. he connects to Rollins. And Rollins flips square out of the ring. All the way to the outside. And Dean Ambrose now. I mean, Seth Rollins is already just depleted mentally. And oh my goodness. Dean Ambrose is lifting oh up the rubber covering on the outside of the ring. And he is exposing the concrete flooring beneath. And we have never seen this in MDT. I don't want to. He has exposed the concrete. He is looking to kill oh this man. Oh, my God. This is, I can't handle this. He is literally trying to end Seth Rollins. Oh, he's no. looking for Dirty Deeds. No. He's looking for Dirty no. Deeds, but Seth is fighting. Seth is fighting out here. Oh, my God. Oh, he looks for the... Oh, he connects him with the knee. The ripcord knee. He connects, and I think Dean may be unconscious now. Seth Rollins has some momentum. Oh, he's loading him oh, up. Oh, Lord. Oh, he's loading him up, looking for the barricade buckle bomb. Ooh. Right into the shoulder. Oh, I think his shoulder could be dislocated, Brad. A barricade power bomb to Dean Ambrose. And oh, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is out oh, for God. revenge. Seth Rollins is out for revenge. Brad, he's got the sledgehammer in hand. He's waiting on his prey. Seth Rollins waiting on Dean Ambrose. Oh, he connects square to the face. Jesus. The sledgehammer connects to the face of Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is a bloody mess now. Both men busted wide open in this matchup. Donning the Crimson mask. Both men as he rolls Dean back inside. Looking for the cover. We can, we can have a retain. And no. he powers out. Train crash continues. The train crash continues indeed as Seth Rollins. I don't know how Dean Ambrose kicked out of that. A sledgehammer to the skull. And Dean Ambrose trying to get back to consciousness as Seth Rollins has his own table now. Setting up his own table. Dean Ambrose set up one earlier in the matchup. And Seth finally has it set up now. Oh, Dean Ambrose with oh a suicide God. dive coming out. He's conscious after that sledgehammer shot. As he takes out Seth. 
And he's wailing on Seth Rollins now, trying to beat him onto that table. Multiple strikes. And he's not done as he lays God. multiple elbow shots to the chest, just pounding away at Seth Rollins, trying to make sure he stays put on that table. And oh my God, what is Dean Ambrose thinking? What is this lunatic thinking? He's taking the shirt off, Brad. And I, oh my God, I think he's taking a climb. Oh Lord. Oh, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is going high. I think he, oh my God, he's he's on the scaffold. Somebody he's, get him down. Oh, he's coming down ah! himself. Oh my God. Jesus. The elbow drop from that high up off the scaffolding. He crash lands through the table. Seth Rollins is destroyed through the table up there. That massive elbow drop from Dean Ambrose. Somebody's going to stop this. Both men are literally killing each other. Dean Ambrose making it back to his feet after that literal drop from hell. As he's picking Seth back up, he puts him back in the ring. This has got to do it. This has got to put him away. He goes for the cover. And he oh, powers out God. again. Why would both of these men continue to fight? Both How? They have no energy left. Both men are depleted. They've lost so much blood. Oh, what is What being? the hell else could be in that buggy? Oh, my God. A two-by-four with nails. The black two-by-four with nails as Dean Ambrose rolls back in the ring. He is looking to literally murder his brother, Seth Rollins. As Seth tries to get back to his feet, Dean Ambrose coming Dean in. Seth! Oh, he ducks it. He ducks it out of the oh way. My God. A kick to the midsection. A kick to the midsection, and Seth, another kick to the Jesus. face. Oh, Seth Rollins battling out. He's trying to fight back. Seth waiting on Dean Ambrose to get back to his feet here. Looking for his own springboard. Oh, and he connects with the knee. He connects the knee to the face of Dean Ambrose as he flips him back over. Seth Rollins fighting. Oh, he's not done. He's not done. He's fighting. He's still got some heart left. Loading up. He's looking for the frog splash. Ah! He connects it. The frog splash lands, Brad. He's going for the cover. And another God. kick out from Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins have literally killed each other in this matchup, and they're still fighting. They're still clinging. What do they have to do to pick up this victory? All for the sake of the Shield name, as both men are just paraded in blood. No energy left. They are both depleted. And Seth Rollins... What the hell is he's, he doing? He's got a cinder block now. Oh, the cement block as he... He is placing it no. underneath Dean Ambrose's head, Brad. He's going for the curb stomp to the skull. A literal curb stomp. Going for the curb stomp. Here he comes. Dean moves out of Nothing the way. There. He's got the two oh by four. God. He's got the two by four. Oh, he oh connects my it. God. Oh, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. We need EMTs. We need EMTs out here. And Seth Rollins is lifeless. Seth Rollins is lifeless. And he kicks oh my out God! That's again. enough. That's enough. He, he kicks out again. Dean Ambrose so shocked. I am completely blown away. A two by four with nails. After he misses the curb stomp on the cinder block, his foot could be broken. He's trying to put it to the table. Seth Rollins oh, he flipped over. He flipped over it. Oh, a kick to the face oh. from Seth. Seth Rollins battling now. Sends Dean into the corner. Seth Rollins getting on to Dean now. Oh, he's loading him up. Seth Rollins loading up Dean Ambrose into the corner. Oh, looking for the superplex. And he, he lands it. it. Oh, he's not done. Looking for the Falcon oh. Arrow through the table. My God. The Falcon Arrow through the table. Pin him, Seth. Pin him. He's going for the cover. In this. Oh, oh, my God. Dean Ambrose. Resilience. In both of these men, Seth Rollins can't believe it. He's arguing with the official. I think everyone in this arena is completely stunned at both of these men. Both of these men have fought and fought. Oh my God, Jesus! They're, your face is still on there. They are. He's about to murder Dean Ambrose. He's gonna murder Dean Ambrose. This is it, Brad. Oh my God! It's Roman Reigns. Oh my God! A spear. He spared Seth Rollins. Roman Reigns. He spears Seth Rollins. He's remained quiet this whole time. He's remained quiet this whole time. He's he's helping what Dean are you Ambrose. Doing? He's dragging Dean over Seth. The referees go for the cover. What the 
hell is that? And it's over. Dean Ambrose has defeated Seth Rollins with the help of his brother, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns remained quiet this whole time. He remained quiet the whole time, Brad. The whole time Seth Rollins was just getting into Dean Ambrose, tearing into Dean Ambrose. But tearing why? Roman Reigns helped Dean Ambrose as both brothers. They embrace as Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns get together the shield. Dean Ambrose remains a part of the shield and Seth Rollins is vanquished as Dean Ambrose is a new world tag team champion. I cannot believe what we have just witnessed. I can't either. Dean Ambrose, new tag team champion with his brother, Roman Reigns. This is unbelievable. The shield fist bump at the middle of the ring. And Dean Ambrose celebrating. Oh my, oh my god! A spear from Roman Reigns! It was all a ploy! What the hell? A spear! It's the Usos! No! The Usos and Roman Reigns! Have they aligned? Roman Reigns over the corpse of his brother Dean Ambrose. Oh my god! Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose were played for fools! As Roman Reigns and the Usos, the bloodline, red bandanas for every member as he reveals himself My God. as the leader of the Usos and the bloodline. And the Usos get an automatic tag team championship match because Dean Ambrose won the matchup. It was a plan all along. What is good, everybody? It is Straight From My Damn Toys, letting you know that our next pay-per-view will be MDT Royal Rumble. We will be having a 30-man Royal Rumble with a championship opportunity at My Damn Nation on the line. My Damn Nation is our WrestleMania, and the Royal Rumble is the path to My Damn Nation. So tune in and get ready for the Royal Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to move on to our Tag Team Championships of Vindication. But I can't even believe what we just witnessed. Brad Roman Reigns turned his back on his brother. I don't, I don't know what to believe in anymore. For the sake of the bloodline. But right now, we have the Young Bucks taking on the Revival. And there are the challengers, Brad. The Young Bucks come out here tonight to fight the Revival. Finally, this matchup will take place. I feel like we've been waiting on it forever. As Matt and Nick Jackson make their way down the ring, and we are ready to go for this MDT Tag Team Championship match. It is a tornado tag match, which means there are no tags. All four men are legal at all times, and this is going to be a crazy one. Will it be FTR tonight, Brad? FTR always! The Young Bucks prepare for the revival as they defend their 400 Championship Day reign. Making their way to the from North Carolina, it's combined with a 436 pounds. They are the MDT Tag Team Champions, the Revival! And Brad, the, the Revival come in with a over 400 day championship title reign. This is a match that has been a long time coming. I'm so excited. Well, we're going to have to see if the Revival can live up to their championship hype as they prepare to go battle with the Bucks of Youth here at MDT Sold Out. Both championships obviously on the line here in this Tornado Tag Team match. Again, all four men are legal at all times, and there are not going to be any tags made. And we're underway here. Oh, a super Jesus. kick. A double super kick to Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder's caught off guard. A shot to the face. He throws Dash Wilder over to Nick Jackson from Matt. And another super Good kick. Good This match could be over already. Nick Jackson makes a cover. Is the championship day reign over? And he no. powers out. I thought we had a new champion. I did too. 
Dash Wilder caught off guard there after two super kicks, a double super kick to his partner Scott Dawson. And Matt Jackson and Nick not done with Dash. Look at this. Nice innovative offense here from the Bucks of Youth as both men taking out Dash Wilder together in a knee to the face here. And it looks like Scott Dawson's recovering. Uh -oh. oh, he's got the hair of Nick Jackson as he's piling into the back of the head of Nick with those shot after shot here. Oh, he may suplex him out of the ring. And another Ooh. super kick to Scott Dawson. So he's taking three super kicks if you count the double at the beginning and then that one right there. So both men looking out, but they better look out. Here comes Dash Water across the ring. Double Ooh. clothesline as both bucks of youth tumble to the outside of the ring here. And Dash Water now waiting on everyone to get back on their feet. And it looks like he's going to borrow a play out of the Young Bucks playbook Look as he that. comes over the top rope and takes out all three men, including his tag partner. And we have not seen such innovative offense from Dash Wilder before. It's usually power moves. And, yeah, more moves like this. Oh, and the nice elbow drop to the back of Nick Jackson. But They're going to hang with the Bucks. I guess so. As the Revival now going to have to double-team Matt Jackson since Nick is taken care of to the outside. And it looks like they're looking for a double team as Dash Wilder loads him up. Oh, my Look goodness. at this. Oh, Scott's coming off the top. Oh, oh, my God. What a move by the Revival as they go for the cover. Oh, and oh. Nick, Nick pulls Dash off so he can't make the cover. And a super, super kick. kick. A super kick takes out Dash Wilder. Just a super kick party here. And another super, super kick. kick. From Matt Jackson now to Scott Dawson. And it looks like Nick is climbing. Oh, I think they're going for that rope hung swanton bomb here. Look at this. Oh, Nick Jackson coming off the springboard. Swanton bomb. And he Got takes it. out Scott Dawson, Brad. This could do it. We could have new tag team champions. Dash Wilder's out. And he no. kicks out Scott Dawson. Not giving up his 400-day reign just yet as he powers out there. Very nice to stay alive. They're champions the, for a reason. Yes, it's staying alive here as the Bucks of Youth now looking for that Meltzer driver. Trying to put away Scott Dawson as he loads him up. Looking for that springboard. Hey oh, now. But, here comes Dash. Oh, he thwarts it. He stops it in its tracks, and the Bucks of Youth struggling here as Nick Jackson hits his nutsack on the top rope. Oh, and Matt Watch Jackson out. looking for that super kick. Oh, he, oh, he came up empty. Oh, oh, Dash. Oh, Dash scooping him up. Oh, he's going to throw him out of the ring onto his partner. That's the power we're talking about from the Revival. As Dash Wilder throws Matt onto brother Nick. And now Dash throwing Matt back inside the ring here. Scott Dawson, Matt Jackson in trouble. Throwing him back. Oh, my God, looking for Shatter, Shatter Machine. Machine. Oh, they connected. It. This could be it. Matt Jackson could be out. The cover. Oh, he got oh, his foot. He got his foot up. His foot's on the ropes. He barely stays alive there. And very nice awareness by the referee to not count to three. Oh, and Nick Jackson finally makes it back to his feet. He's looking for a Watch out. Oh, the drop kick to the back of the skull. To Dash Wilder. Here comes Scott Dawson. He misses on the clothesline. Oh, and a super, super kick. kick. Super kick to Scott Dawson. Oh, and they're going to turn their sights on Dash Wilder now. Loading him up. And Brother Nick on the on the springboard now. Looking for that Meltzer driver. Meltzer driver! And he nails it, Brad. They're going for the cover. Dash Wilder is down. Both men make the cover. And it's they over. do it. The Bucks of Youth. The Young Bucks. It's going to be a super kick party tonight. As Matt and Nick Jackson dethrone the Revival and bring on the MDT Tag Team Championships. Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club are happy tonight as the Young Bucks prevail and bring home the MDT Tag Titles as the two sweet from the brothers. What a match put on by both teams, but it was not enough as the Bucks of Youth claim victory.
What is good, everybody? It is Stray from My Damn Toys here, and we're about to go into the main event. But first of all, I want to let you guys know to please leave us your feedback. Avoid spoilers, please. It will mean a lot to me if you don't leave spoilers in the comments. Just comment your thoughts on the show. I love really long reviews, really long feedback. You know, let me know what you thought of each match individually. You can even rate it like Dave Meltzer if you want. I just really would love some feedback on the show, what you thought of each match individually. I'd really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best, and um, I worked really hard on this show, and I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoy it, but let's get into this main event and don't forget to leave your review. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally ready for our main event tonight a street fight for the MDT Elite Championship between Braun Strowman and Kenny Omega. And Brad Braun Strowman, of course, would not take no for an answer. He wanted Kenny Omega, and he wanted the Bullet Club, and he's got it here tonight in this street fight. He could be the new elite champion. And he's he's wasting no time. Brady's going right under the ring. He's got his own table. He's ready. He's definitely ready. He's going straight at it. He's got his table in the middle of the ring, and it's time. Here comes the general manager and the cleaner. Making his way to the ring. And there he is, Brad, the interim general manager and MDT elite champion, Kenny Omega, making his way down. He's got his work cut out for him tonight. And he may need a literal gun to get through this matchup. And Brad, you knew he wouldn't come alone as the Bullet Club Absolutely. are in full force here on the stage. Including new member, Marty the Villain Skrull. And Braun Strowman wants him, Brad. He's telling him to get his ass in the ring. And Kenny Omega's put his championship down. I think he's ready to go. He's sliding in the ring here. And Braun Strowman stomps on here him immediately. Go. My God. Ring the bell. I guess they listen. As Eric. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Power slam through the table immediately in this matchup. Jesus. Braun Strowman making quick work of the champion. But here comes Adam Cole down the ramp. He's going to come fight for his champion. Oh, oh I think God. he messed up, Brad. He messed up big time as Braun Strowman standing over Adam Cole. He's scooping him up. Oh, it's like a rag doll. Watch out. Oh, hit the clubs outside. He's going to choke Adam Cole. Oh, my God. Jesus. He takes out the entire Bullet Club, throwing Adam Cole out of the ring. Oh, my God. The strength and the power of the monster among men. He's scooping Kenny Omega back up for another power slam. Oh, and Kenny powers out. There you go. Kenny fights. And a super, super kick. kick. A big super kick from Kenny. Kenny fighting. He's elite champion for a reason. He's fighting the monster. Going one-on-one -on -one in the middle of the ring. Not slowing down. A chest slap from the from the cleaner. Coming across the ring again. Oh, what's he thinking? Oh, he caught oh. him. Oh, he threw him out of the ring. Good Lord. Oh, the back of the champion is damaged. Through the table with a power slam and then flying over the ropes. And Adam Cole's going to come back in and try and help again. Oh, he's, he's trying to fight Braun Strowman, but I don't think oh he has God. a chance. Oh, Adam Cole thrown into the corner here. Oh, and he gets crushed by the 400-pound mammoth that is Braun Strowman crushing. Comes the villain. Oh, the villain's going to give it a shot now. Oh, he's attacking him with that umbrella. Who threw that piece of paper at him? Oh, he's attacking Jesus. Marty. Strike to the face with the umbrella. Oh, God. And another strike. Get out of there. Oh, Braun. He has assaulted two members now. Oh, Nick Jackson wants some. Nick Jackson just had a match. He just had a match. Oh, he caught him. Braun Strowman caught Nick Jackson. Oh, he's going to the corner. Oh, God. Oh, he crushes Adam Cole. Three members of the Bullet Club assaulted, including the champion. Matt Jackson giving it a turn now. Looking for the super kick. Oh, oh he whiffed. Oh, he whiffed. He scoops Matt up. Fighting. Oh, and oh. he slams him onto Skrull. He has literally made quick work of the Bullet Club. Here comes Cody. Cody trying to fight him. Cody bringing the fight to Strowman here. Cody doing all he can here. He comes across. Oh, look for that drop kick. Oh, he lands it. Nails it. Oh, and it spills brought out to the outside. Cody actually getting some offense in. 
Coming across now, looking for the suicide Look dive. Out. Oh, he robbed him out of midair. Oh, I think, oh my Jesus. God, he launched him. He launched him across the arena. And he's, oh, look at Kitty. Kitty's making a run for it. Oh, Braun's not going to let him get away, Brad. He's going backstage. They're headed backstage. Braun Strowman giving oh chase. Oh, my God. And Braun looking around. He, I, I don't know where Kitty Omega went. He's looking for Kitty. Braun totally confused. Where is he? There's the title. We found the championship. Oh, look out. There's Kitty with a buggy. Oh! Oh, he hits him in the sternum. Oh, Kitty wailing on him now, using that buggy to sort of barricade him in there and just strike after strike to Strowman. But it didn't do enough. Oh, my God. He's taking the champion. Oh, oh he throws him across the, the championship, the radio there. Oh, and he's throwing him right back into the arena. Oh, Kitty. Kitty just getting obliterated here. Kitty crawling for mercy. Crawling. Braun Strowman giving chase now. Throws Kenny back inside the ring. The whole entire Bullet Club's there waiting, but... Oh, that's three on one. Oh, oh my God. A triple super kick. They bring the monster down to his knees. And Cody and Marty are going to join in. Brad, I think they're looking for a five-man super kick oh to the dome. God. All five men. Oh, my Jesus. God. And the monster is stunned. Here comes Kenny. V trigger to the back of the skull. The monster is down. Kenny flips him over. And all the men. Oh my God. All five, all six, every single member is covering Braun Strowman. And they that got it. does it. Together, they conquered the monster. They knew that Kenny could not do it alone. And I guess that's what the club is for, Brad. There's no rules in a street fight. Kenny Omega does it. They overcome the monster among men, Braun Strowman, and he retains his elite championship. He should thank his brothers, Adam Cole, Matt and Nick Jackson, Cody Rhodes, and Marty. You better get out of here before that man gets up. I think he's getting up, Brad. He's not done. He, he's ready to fight some more. He's ready to fight some more. Oh, what the hell is that? What's that? Is that what the hell is that gloved hand? Oh, it's Dragon Braun Strowman! Oh my god, who was that? He drug him under the ring! What the hell is that? The referee checking the checking out the madness and there's there's nothing. There's nobody there! Braun Strowman drug underneath. Let me in. 